Hi, today we're looking into how we can actually void checks in SQL accounting. So of course the simplest method is just by deleting off the payment voucher, but that will then represent that your system has lack of controls and of course your payment voucher will be not in sequence anymore. Alright, so today we'll be looking into two ways of doing this. The easiest method will be actually just by cancelling the payment voucher. Alright, so before we can actually start, we will look here, GL, Bank Recon, we'll select new, and we'll select our bank statement date, say example 30th November. We'll select here, change to Maybank. And for me, when I do Bank Recon, I always like to uncheck this. I will make sure I check Antique Transaction, as well as I will check Show Current Reconciliation Transaction. We'll click Apply here. So let's say for example, now we got this payment voucher called Cellcom PV number 52 of 9,800. So let's say I want to cancel this off. I just double click into here. All right. You can just press edit here. And then here you can see there is a cancel button. So we click cancel here and we press save. All right. So by doing this, we actually cancel this particular payment voucher already. Okay, so let's see the impact on your bank state reconciliation. So let's say we cancel off your bank recon again. Yes, and now we press new. We select our date again, 30th November. We will select our Maybank account. Uncheck this, press apply. So you can see that particular PV number 52 is no longer in your bank recon. Alright, so let's say for example, the method number two, let's cancel this first. Let's say I create one payment, say supplier payment, press new, I create a payment to say Maxis, or oh, no invoice, so let's say we select another one, say Lion, okay, so I'm going to pay this one on this date, 16th of November, I'm paying 665.50, knock it off here, put in your IBG or your check number, and press save, alright? So, method number two, what we need to do is if this check is bounced, what we do is we come in here, we press edit, right click here, there's one called bounce status, click here, and we can check bounce and when this is bounce. Okay, so let's say for example it was bounced only on the 18th of November, so you put here 18th of November, we press okay. So the system will then prompt you that this check has been bounced on the 18th of November. Alright, save. And then close this. And then go back to GL. Then we go to bank recon again. So this example, when you select here, 16th of November. When you select here, we put me bank again. Same thing. Tick this two. Press apply. You can see 665 is here. However, if we change this date to 18 of November or say at the end of the month, 30th of November, we press apply. If you can see, there's another debit and credit entry showing that this check has been bounced already. Alright, so this is especially important if the check has cleared in your bank statement and you want to reconcile your statement as per the bank statement. So this is actually very, very helpful. Alright, so of course, Clients will ask me, say like, oh, this payment voucher 665, I cancel it like that. Can I make another payment to knock off that particular invoice? Yes, you can. So let's check here. Okay, let's cancel this. So we come back to supplier. Supplier payment. Click Lion. You can see the invoice is still outstanding right now. So you can create another payment and knock off the particular invoice again. Alright, so we hope you find this helpful. Do let us know what are the other topics you would like us to cover in the comments below. Have a great day and we will see you in the next video.